Paula, what's happening? What is up? It's been so long. How I've are missed you? you guys very, very much. Thank you so much for coming back. Of course, always. How how's everything? I walked away for a little bit, but you know, I had to come back. You walked away. Tell me why <laughs> did you walk away? You should not have said that. I'm no. just gonna go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> I know, I know. Why I know. did you walk away? Honestly, I wanted to um focus on more music for you guys. Mm-hmm. I've been working on a new EP. Super excited about that. Very cool R and B, sensual, spacey. It just feels like me right now. So yeah, I've just you know I've been working. Did you make the conscious effort? Like, were you thinking to yourself, okay, maybe I'm doing a little bit too much, and it's time to take a break? <laughs> no, that that wasn't the case at all. But I mean, doing too much to this day is crazy. The people that just hear it or they see it on my TikTok, they're like, "What? You're the girl." I'm always the girl that's either the walkaway girl or the doing too much girl. So I'm trying to come out with new songs, you know, for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I think life just took over for a little bit. I'm independent now. I've been independent for a few years now. So going from a major label to being independent is totally different, but I'm enjoying it. You know, what's interesting. A lot of artists that I talk to and they talk about how they are independent. They seem to have more fun being yeah. independent as opposed to being backed by a big major label, if that makes sense. No. Yeah. It's fun, but it's also like you get your hands dirty a little more. You, know? mm. you really get to learn what's going on. Nobody's, nobody's doing it for you. <laughs> You're your, doing it all yourself. Get your hands dirty. So does, does that mean that you get to have all your hands in all of the pots that's cooking? Like you get to have say on what's being released. Yes. What picture is mm-hmm. um is being used. What song is the first single? All of that is is, is up all to you. All of it. The, the whole thing. The whole thing. Do you like that? I do. I feel like it, it helps me as an artist grow more because I feel like back then I had to say so. But I really didn't know what, you know, and I kind of was put on people's desk overnight, even though I've been singing for years. I've been singing since I was six. I'm in my 30s now. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I just feel like having that like machine and having the label, they kind of would um, make those decisions for you. So now I'm just like, OK, I know what worked for me. Then I also know that I'm growing as a person and I want people to grow with me. So. What do you feel like is the most nerve wracking part of all of that? Uh, being on a label? Yeah. Or? Not even being on a label, but like having things picked for you. Well, I'm a go with the flow type of person. So <laughs> I think structure is a lot for me. But now that I'm having to structure things for myself, it's again making me grow. It's making me like get out of my comfort zone. Like, okay, this needs to be for this and this and this and this whether it be image, the music that you're putting out, anything like that. So I do feel like it is easier to be structured when you're the one that's <laughs> setting the structure, but when someone yeah. else is telling you what to do, I'm a big, don't tell me what to do type of person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's <laughs> yeah. different. And I think it's more so because I am not the type of person that can just like, I don't know, like structure. I, I am more of a controlled chaos type of person. Me too. You know Look what at I'm us. saying? We're besties already. Exactly. So it's come like on. if you come in and you got you got to do this, 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 that, and the third. It's not necessarily you telling me what to do. Mm-hmm. I think I more so get overwhelmed with all of the things yes. that needs to be put into like what we yes. need to do. So true. Yes. You you said it best. What is your sign? Yes. Oh, no. Not me guessing. Please. <sighs> is it? Um, Leo? No. Oh, you don't Ugh. like Leos? That's are you sister. a Leo? No, my sister's a Leo. What are you? Guess. See, now we're playing the guessing game. You're a water sign? Uh-huh. I knew it. Um, But I'm fire still. Are, are you mixed Get with it? fire? No, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a water sign too. Okay, wait. Aquarius? No, that's air. Oh, that is air. Duh. And what are the water signs? Give me some help, guys. I need a lifeline. He's doing it right now. Oh my, no. Okay, we're meant to be. What? You're a Pisces? Yeah. Ah! (laughs) He's like this. He's like, (laughs) who are you? I'm a Scorpio. Yes. Wait, so either you have a birthday or a birthday is coming up. A birthday is coming up. When's your birthday? The third. The third. My brother is the second. Okay, so you're Scorpio. Yay. That's why What's I up, brother? Th- Hi, brother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I feel like we are not with the like, because we're water signs and all we do is like flow with, with the water. The, yep, exactly. Ex- oh, mm-hmm. look at it. It's, it's, it's all making known. sense now. I just, there's a big heart that's going over you right now. Yeah. I'm just like, 
<laughs> you guys could see it. Yeah, tell me what are you doing for your birthday? I don't know yet. Again, I don't like too much structure. I don't put emphasis on anything like that. I kind of just let things go. Mm -hmm. um, last year, I had a surprise party, which was cool. Everybody surprised me because I was really surprised. I'm like, what is everybody doing here? I had no idea. I showed up, had a good time. So I don't know. Are you mad when people throw you a surprise party? Because my first, like, <laughs> let me tell you, this is well, going to sound crazy as hell. <laughs> my first thing would be like, how did you get in my house? Right? No. It, well, it was at a rooftop, but... I was surprised, but also I was like, okay, I look cute. I came from a, like a little premiere, a movie premiere. Mm -hmm. So I was ready to be, you know, around everybody. But right. it was, it was caught me off guard. I was like, hold on, wait, I thought we were just doing dinner. What is this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. Enjoyed I love it. that for you. Okay, my fellow water sign. Yeah. That makes so much sense in the besties, world. Besties, besties. Um, absolutely. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel like social media has either helped or not necessarily helped? Your career. Um, do you feel like that is the case? I think if we had social media like we do now, when I first came out, it would have been crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And it sucks because I'm like, dang, when I was on, would it be Regis and Kelly or when I was on um, all these different things that were like big things back then, TRL, anything like that. Like if I could do that and document it now, it would be huge. But, you know, I think MySpace was really cool. I think it was ahead of its time. Part, mm -hmm. Partly, like, I feel like it was Instagram, but cooler because we could, you know, we could have our own format of our music, our we playlist. Were coding, we know, were coding. In high, we in, had in, all like kinds of, school. like, sparkly. Right, exactly. Like, I'm like, I'm going to put um, sparkles today. I'm going to do red today or whatever mm -hmm, it may be. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I... I have a love hate with it because I feel like people are rediscovering me on social media. They're like, wait a minute, where you been? Huh? You're still around? I'm like, hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Just look me up. Um, but also I feel like a lot of it is fabricated. There's a lot of numbers that are skewed because numbers can lie guys. Don't, don't get it twisted. But I feel like it does also help. So it's like a, you know, it's like a love hate. <laughs> when people are watching this or they're listening to this and you hear numbers can be skewed. What does that mean? I mean, by people buying their followers, you see like the fake likes. It goes from, okay, somebody posted something, they get 24,000 likes. Come on. Mm. If you start looking through those likes, you'll find it. And I'm an investigator. I, I know you are too. <laughs> 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 we will find out. Even Paul, if leave we don't, me out of this, okay? <laughs> if we don't want to, even if we didn't feel like doing the investigating, it's just going to so happen to fall on our lap. Isn't like, that crazy how that happens? Like you can literally <laughs> be like, I don't know. This is so weird. Can you tell when someone's lying to you? I think I've gotten better at it. Uh huh. And when I and when it gets past me, one gets past me, I'm like, how? Really? And then I go back and and review the whole tape, and I'm like, uh, this day and this time and this hour, and you know, it, it's interesting <laughs> how I can I I feel like I can honestly see through it when someone is lying to me, and it and, it, and it's that's good. That means you're very tapped in. I I you know what it is because I am very analytical. As much as I feel like that I'm not, I am very analytical. So when one plus one always has to equal two. You know how sometimes people tell a story and it's one plus one equaling 15. Uh -huh. You you know, because I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, it's 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 interesting. Do you want to get into it? What are we talking about? What is the story? No, I'm just, no, I'm just saying <laughs> in general. On, I'm just saying in general. I feel like that's just, you know, <laughs> uh, um, a trait that we have. No, yeah. And I feel like, I've noticed too, like I can feel people's energy more and more the more I tap in with myself. Mm -hmm. And I guess back then I never really was tapping into that. And I think just getting to know yourself more and more as a human being, you're like, oh, I felt that person's energy or, or this person feels a little like antsy and you can feel those things. So you kind of have to just be Zen in your own body. That's the whole reason why I don't go to hospitals. <laughs> It's oh my gosh. Because I can take on everybody's energy who's in there and I end up feeling like I'm sick. And then you feel drained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, do me a favor and tell me if I were you. If I were you, boy. It came along about two years ago. Mm -hmm. I was in the studio. A producer played me a song without me on it at the time. And I was like, yo, this is so cool because it's a sample kind of thing. And I really like that sound back then was so fun to me and I don't know it's just different so I ended up going and recording it didn't like the first time that we did it. I was like okay no it needs to be worked on 
went back in and wrote it with um, actually a producer friend of mine and we killed it. And I was like, okay, I think it's actually ready for people to hear. So that's how, if I were you came about. That's interesting how first time you heard it or first time you did it, you didn't necessarily like it. No. And it's (laughs) now I compare the two. I'm like, it used to, it was like the hook was like, I need a boy, which was cool, but I think it was two on the head. So we're like, if I were you, boy, Mm. you know, it's more bossy, more demanding, Mm -hmm. a little more petty. I like petty songs, obviously. Me too. I'm a petty Pisces. (laughs) Can you do me a favor and tell me? Petty Pisces. Whoa. Yeah. Petty Pisces, spicy Pisces, you name it. I am that (laughs) person. How do you feel like it's different making music now from years ago? Um, the structure for me, like I had so, so many things on my desk. Then they were like, okay, here's the sound. Here's what's going on. And it was, it was a different time. So it, I think it was actually quicker for me. Now I take my time even more. I'm like, okay, I really want to like get into the song. I really want to know like what I'm singing about writing. I'm going to put my harmonies. I've always done that with my old music, but I feel like even more, I kind of dissect the song more. Mm. So it takes a little longer for me. Yeah. It's interesting because even with the sounds of like how music has changed, you know what I mean? From, from, you know, your time on like TRL and Rita's and Kelly and things like that to like songs right now. It's just interesting how music evolves and you literally have to evolve with the music. Yeah. But it's funny because I feel like there's this whole trend. I'm, I'm dressed as 2K right now. I don't, I don't have my full outfit on yet, Mm -hmm. but I'm basically going to be 2K tonight and i'm like yo i mean come on that's my error mm-hmm. i know how to do 2k mm-hmm. 2000s baby mm-hmm. um but i feel like it's coming back because people like that nostalgic feeling and it makes them feel something they're like oh i was in high school when you sang this song and i was also in high school performing right it and i was in high school doing my first album so i feel them on that we were so young and we were you know, going through breakups and going through fake breakups, all of that. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how it's just one vicious cycle, how everything is like, like just with like styles and yeah. like I thought skinny jeans were here to stay, but apparently that's not the thing anymore. You no. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, But yeah. it's, it's crazy like how things come back around yeah. um, full circle wise. For sure. Uh, is there anything that you can tell if you could go back in time and tell your younger self something that's on stage? Mm. top of their career Mm -hmm. in that moment what would you say (laughs) i love little p uh god bless her heart little p um (laughs) but i wish i had a stylist back then y'all i needed to be more fly i don't know i feel like is that no is it just because (laughs) you are looking at something right now from back in the day you know what i'm saying you know like how you look at a picture and you're like damn like but that's that's different like the style from right then yeah. was the style and you're looking back, you know what i'm saying true but it could have been better you know it should have been better and and it, it irks me i see pictures I'm like who let me on the carpet like that who why but you know what that goes to show you it was about my voice it was about my um my personality who i was as a person and an artist that people really um, drew into so it wasn't about the style definitely can I tell you how <laughs> I would have loved and I lived right in Jersey never had the opportunity to like go across the str- go across the river in New York and be a part of like TRL but I, I, that was a time such a time they had they had my street team out there and there was like big like I was on a stick basically mm-hmm. and a big old picture of me and the the green outfit from easy mm-hmm. and I, I looked outside from from inside of TRL, and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, it was so cool, such a time. And I remember when I was a little, 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 little pee, little girl, and I would watch TRL, and I'm like, ooh, Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, all these dope artists, singers, singers of their time. And so when I went on TRL, I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna, have, I'm performing. This is crazy. I did have a stylist for that. Though. Mm-hmm. When you went into that studio <laughs> in Times Square, what was your first thought? Um, you better not mess up. You better s- sing your little heart out. And I actually was under the weather. So I was drinking a lot of tea, a lot of honey. It was so cold when I went to, I'm, I'm a Texas girl. So mm. when I went to New York, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little free. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's a little, little free in here. Right, yeah. right, right. So I was there for maybe like two days before my performance. I'm like, oh no. <clears throat> Uh-oh. And they're going to think I can't sing. No. So I tried my hardest to, to sound amazing. I think I could have done a better job, but hey. 
the weather, you know, your vocals are very important. So now I'm like always on it. If I have to sing somewhere, I just did the anthem. I'm like, okay, if I'm outside, I need to be by heaters. I mm -hmm. need to be drinking my tea. None of that. None, no playing around. So let us know what are you working on next? I'm working on an EP. Um, it came together with some friends of mine. I've known them for 10 years plus. And it was crazy. We just went in the studio. We're like, let's do a song. Mm -hmm. The song came out amazing. I'm like, okay, should we do more songs? So we're working on more songs. I think I have like six songs right now. And I'm trying to narrow it down to one song that I want to release before the EP comes out. Mm, can I just say it was a pleasure you coming in and chatting with us? Of course. Anytime. Now that we know that we're besties, oh, come absolutely. on. Water can size. can we go. do a takeover again, please? Yes. <laughs> you set it up. We'll be right here and you make it happen, okay? Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you guys for having me. Love y'all.